Hey guys, Do It On A Dime here. So I've gotten lots of requests through emails and Facebook messages to do more crafting tutorials and on a dime decor for your home. And I thought this would be a perfect time to do this video because yesterday I actually went to something called a Pinterest party. I hosted it at my in-laws place. And for those of you who've never been to a Pinterest party, effectively what it is, is you bring a dish to pass Thing that you found on Pinterest and you also bring a craft that everybody can do so by the time you leave the party you've gotten to chat with your friends and everybody goes home with a few fun crafts that's usually home decor related for around your house we had such a blast doing it so in this video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some of the fun crafts that we did I also want to share with you guys some video footage that I took up in Michigan when I was on vacation there my best friend in Michigan Susanna she has some awesome super DIY stuff around her house Unfortunately, I took the footage with my iPhone, so it's not as great of quality, but it's still really cool ideas, and I wanted to share it with you guys, so I hope you enjoy. So this little snowman is the craft that I brought to the party and it's so cute. I found this on Pinterest, which I will link down below, but all this is is a two by four cut into a six inch size and you could do six inch, you could do even taller or shorter if you wanted. And I sanded down the edges and then we just used white paint that was left over from like a paint sample jar. This is a piece of burlap tied around for the scarf, and there's a little bit of Mod Podge and glitter on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's super pretty. And then the eyes were just drawn on with the Sharpie. And then over here, this is a craft that a friend brought, and this is just an old jar, and you just clean it off and take the label off. And then this is spray adhesive and this really pretty iridescent glitter. And then you can just stick a candle inside and light it up on the mantle, it looks so nice. So here is another craft that we did. I think these are so cute. This is one that a friend brought. These rocks are from the dollar store. You get like a huge pack for just a buck. And then all you do is you cut out magazine cutouts. You could even use photos if you want and use a little bit of Mod Podge. And you could turn these into magnets, but these we turned into tacks. You can make really, I mean, endless amounts of these and really, really dress up any tack board in your house. This is a craft that we actually made last time. And I did do a specific tutorial on something similar, which I'm gonna link down below for you guys. But look how easy this is. This is just a piece of cardboard and it's cut out in a circle. And then this is just a little piece of like floral wire that's been wrapped up to make a little hook. So it can fit right on the hook on the wall, just like that. And then this is a book that I got from the Goodwill and we just ripped it up and put it into little spirals and hot glued them on. And it's a really good thing to put in like an awkward space like this wall. So this is so cool. This is just like four canvases. No, they're four pieces of wood. We just took a piece of wood and cut it into four equal pieces. But and then you just painted it green and put the white paint on top? Yep. For the We did hand prints and footprints, and then for the letters, we just printed off what we wanted from the computer. And if you um, then take the piece of paper and you take a pencil and you scribble the back of it and then trace it onto the wood, you'll have the outline of what you need, and then you just hand print it, paint it. And you hand and then, painted that. So the E and the L are hand painted, and then the heart is my thumbprint and my husband's thumbprint, and our the feet are one kid. And oh, the... that's a thumbprint? Yeah. That's so cool. So This is really awesome. Mommy. All right, so in the bathroom, this is awesome so the kids don't get into it. So this is so pretty. Explain how you did this. This is just one of those um, unfinished crates you can buy at Joann's or Michael's, and we just stained it and then bought some brackets for shelves and mounted it to the wall. Color, they're normally kind of almost like this color. Yeah. And I just lightly sanded it and stained it the color I wanted to. And, and then I love how you have the candles in here. That's really creative. That's like, that's like a pretty way to have decor and not have it be really expensive. Yeah, yeah. And this is like here. That's like yeah, yeah. So cool and real simple. Best magazine ever. Yep, a million episodes here. <laughs> Copies <laughs> So what a cool idea to cover up a thermostat. You just like put a little frame around it and all she did was just like set this on a little nail like that. That is such a good idea. We're right in by their entryway and this is what I wanted to show you guys. How did you make this? Um, I just bought this like 
frame, a blank frame without glass from Michael's or Joanne's or something. And I painted it, and then the same with the B and the four, and then put it, hung them up, and then I did the same thing on, from the love thing downstairs, and you just find the letters you want on the computer, and you print it out, and then you flip it over, and you shade the back with a pencil, and you trace it on the wall, and you hand paint That's it. That's so cool. So this is going to be kind of hard for you guys to see because of the light, plus I'm on my phone, but explain what you did. This is really cool, Susanna. Um, well, we just have these really long windows next to our door, and we... When we moved in, there were blinds there, but we didn't like them. Um, so we just put up a curtain rod over the doorway and then put curtains, you know, on the side. And if you want to, I mean, I did the eye hooks here on the side. So you, I just made tie backs. Let's see. Um, oh, yeah. So you could technically, if you wanted to, we, you can't do it all the way over, but you could at least black that if you wanted to. But yeah, but that's like kind super of modern. Left it, you know, this way. And budget friendly. Budget friendly. Ikea, $14 curtains or something. Yeah, those are really cute. So, um, All, right. Anyway. All right, so explain this. This is so pretty. This so, was, This is such a statement for a room. This was um, the big frame. Has a cor This is cork board behind here. Uh -huh. This is actually a really ugly green color. We found it from um, Home Goods for $30, I think. And then um, I just got some cheap fabric from um, good, from Joann's, and we stapled them to the back. And I painted this the color I wanted it. And then, and then we just yes, you can go ahead. Um, and then we just did really inexpensive. Um, I think those are like Target two dollar picture frames or something, and just hung them. Or did they come white? Nail. Did you spray paint these? No, no they, those, came they, white. Came white. Yeah, they came white. They came white. So that you is... could do it any color you want. And you could like really. change this out to do like any kind of grouping you wanted because this is just corkboard, right? It's just corkboard, yeah. So we, I mean, these are hung with nails. We did put nails in to hang up this part, but you could do command hooks or you could do whatever you that wanted to do. Is so that cool. is so cool. So this is super cute in her son's room. That's just, is this a wooden letter, Susanna? No, they're um, car, I think it's cardboard. Oh. Once again, like $3 from Joanne's. And then you just painted it white, put it over the bed. <laughs> this monkey's awesome. <laughs> There's so another cute. monkey my yeah. mind. So this is on the other side of the wall in her son's room, just a bookshelf. And these are from Ikea. We have these same shelves. What are they like? 15 bucks or something yeah, like that? Yeah, they're called picture holders. They're actually meant for like photo frames to just lean on, but, um, and my son is an avid reader, so clearly there are a billion books up here, but it's just so that um, he can look at the covers since he can't read the sides of them as well yet. Yeah. Because he's only three, so. That's so cute. And you just have four of them attached. Are they on studs? Um, they're not on studs, but they have like the anchors hey, on the wall. Hey, yeah. take a picture of my car? Take a picture of your car? Let's uh, see this car. So cool, Sam. Very uh, uh, cool. Hey, let's let's. <laughs> so this is on her son's door. Then it's got a little command hook there, and it looks like it's metal, but it's not. It's just a command hook. So this is in her other son's bedroom above his crib. How did you make this? Um, that's just a piece of really cheap plywood. Uh huh. And once again, I just painted it and um, did the same thing with the letters like I did in the other things, and just hand traced them and yeah. hand painted them. Just a piece and, of plywood. Uh, and then you, plywood. how did you get the hole in that? I did, we just drilled a hole, like with a drill. <laughs> and um, it's, just with jute, drill. it's just jute rope, like from Home Depot or something. Oh. Um, really inexpensive and just tied the knot. I wanted the knot to be visible and so. So cute over the crib. Uh, That's amazing.